Imagine your party roaming the underdark, your joints and limbs ache with each step forward. After a drow ambush being forced on the ground by a nasty group of cave fishers, morale and hope falters between each step that echoes like a pained howl. The party continues forth into a small cavern, a small cluster of creatures with thin long eye stalks and a bundle of swaying tentacles. Hello, asks your dwarf friend as he looks upon the creatures. In your head you hear a joyful voice, welcome, as one of the tentacled creatures floats closer to you. As it does so, a small flump, flump, flump sound floats through the air. Ah, Flumps, my favorite D&D creature and the only lawful good apparition in all of D&D 5th edition to date. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm Dr. Optum Lloyd Penultimate Widow 6 the third, the main doctor here at Three Quarters Hospital. But you didn't come here for my greatness. You came here for lore and facts. Flumps are small jellyfish creatures who live in the Underdark and feed upon psionic forces from creatures such as Mind Flares, Abolith, and Gif, along with many other psionic creatures that lurk within the Underdark. When should I use a flump in my campaign, I hear you ask? Flumps are best used in the Underdark as as their home, but they can be found in many other places. Perhaps a flump wizard left their home in order to study odd phenomenons, or a large source of psionic energy has lured a cloister of flumps to some sort of location. In the end, it's all up to you. If you're listening well, and you may have heard me refer to a large group of flumps as a cloister, cloister may have about 15 to 20 flumps, which while having no strict roles, they all inherently know what to do. If your group of adventurers is to encounter a cloister, I would advise you have them at very low hit points when they find them. Remember, flumps need not have any leaders, as they all naturally know what to do. So if the party is resting, the flumps may ask the party for help. When the party asks what they need help with, the flumps will be confused, as they don't understand, giving directions to other creatures, as they don't need to do it to themselves. Another thing to take advantage of is flumps' pure hearted nature. Most flumps feed off mind flesh, which can cause them to turn ill with their negativity. The fluff could turn to a chaotic creature that is disturbed through what they ate. Perhaps having a spell such as remove curse or calm emotion to work to free the fluff from its madness. Flumps will leave things such such as mind flare colonies if the negativity gets too bad. Flumps will also swarm to mind flare colonies if they're destroyed to feed off any psionic remnants. Finally, flumps are meant for combat, like a horde of zombies, a pack with gnolls, or a level 5 fighter. They are very weak and meant to be roleplayed. And roleplay is very good to describe the flumps' ability to change color based on their mood. Perhaps the party is starting to upset them, their tentacles begin to turn red. Or, if they are amusing them, they will begin to turn blue with the light. If combat does happen to break out between flumps and your players, Flumps will immediately try and flee, taking the disengage action or leaving behind a horrible stench cloud as they flee. Flumps also have acidic tentacles that may be worth something. Drow could coat their whips in these acids or use them as to replace spell components or be used for medicine. It's really up to you, but Flumps could be very handy creatures. In the end, while Flumps seem like boring creatures more based on looking goofy than delivering any actual good roleplay or fun, you couldn't be further from the truth. There is so much more I could have expanded on, perhaps giving a Cloister flumps their own mind witness to protect, which will be expanded upon on the mind flare episode, don't worry. Or, you know, perhaps what other uses they behold from the Underdark. How they reproduce. Who spoils? David. There's so much more. It's very interesting. So please, pick up your monster manual, open up the Wikipedia, and check out Flumps. I hope this video guy has convinced you to use them in your own campaign. Anyway, this is Dr. Dr. Moy Penultimate Whittle 6 the 3rd saying goodbye.